Which country do you hate the most in the world? 84% of them said, America. We hate America, 84%. Then they asked, if you had to immigrate, what country would you want to immigrate to the most? 83% said, America. Well, why is that? It's because in America, that's where you have the most vibrant, the freest exercise of Islam in the world today. Not in Saudi Arabia, not in Indonesia, not in any other, quote, Muslim country, but in a country that respects all religions. And I think that's the important thing for Muslims, and that's my appeal to Muslims, is that you must have compassion on the Christians, not just say we won't hurt you. No, there has to be a political, ideological uh, uh, agreement that yes, we have different beliefs. You know, your God, our God, we, we don't believe in either God. You don't believe in our God, we don't believe in your God, but so what? These, these things that are religious are our own personal and individual rights. And only democracy has saved the world from religions killing each other. You know, if, if, in other words, if Christians took your attitude, then they would say, well, then kami din. Kami din, magkakaroon kami ng sarili. Mga katoliko, ito, kumunyon kayo. Kung hindi, matay kayo. Hindi, kaalagaan naman namin kayo. Eh. I think that's the important point people have to realize. There is a way for every uh, indigenous people and non-indigenous people to live their lives as they wish, but they have to respect others. In deep way, you know, before, when, when we could run away to another continent and establish our own sultanate, pwede yun. But the world, you know, the, the Philippines, 100 million people. There's only so much land now. Hindi nakatulad dati na ayaw mo maging slave ni Raja Mura, takbo ka sa Luzon. O punta ka sa Bisaya. Wala na yun. Hindi na pwede yun. We, we run out of land here and, and, and we're all intermingled. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, I'm sure some of you have Christian blood. And I think I have more blood. We all do, you know. It's, it's, these maps are, 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 are really a terrible division of human beings. Now, all of us have sins in the past. All of our ancestors made mistakes. The Crusaders killed Muslims by the millions. And the Muslims too, they did it to them. You know, so, and it's not just Muslims and Christians. The Buddhists kill each other, the, the lahate. So, you know, I think that was the invention of the 20th century. It's the thing that began in 1776. It's freedom of religion. Dean, at that point, I'd like to weigh in yeah. with my view because we've seen okay. how this works. Now, my view is very simple. There has never been a good and convenient time for independence or for peace. There has never been a tidy separation of peoples. The story of India, for one, which is why we showed you the clip of Jinnah and Gandhi, serves as a warning that we should bear in mind that partitioning a country can ultimately cost millions of lives even though it's done in the name of peace. And so there may be a better way. So thank you, Dean, and thank you, Bettina, and members of the uh, Young Moro League. Thank you for being with us and keep uh, sharing your views. I'm Manolo Quezon, and this is Explaining.